up, y'all. Success looks good on you, right on G. Right? I played this song on Kaylee's Live uh, a while ago, but it's called No Stalling by Shea Universe. <laughs> Your hair, right on. Oh, hey, wifey, life has been well. How are you? This is not me. This is an artist named Shea Universe. S H A E Universe. Um, and the song is called No Stalin. No S T A L L I N with a little posture on that mug. Your hat's cool. Thank you. I miss you. I miss y'all too. What's up, man? How'd y'all think of the new episode? Or what'd y'all think of the new episode? My day's going well. You have a beard? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got a nice, I get a nice little goatee that comes in, man. It comes in pretty nice. Did Kaylee move back to LA? <laughs> I loved it, actually. Yeah, the episode was not. Oh, Ginny kills, bro. Ginny ate, man. I remember, like, watching the episode. It was so fun. Hey, Quincy, I'm loving the twist. They make you look like a cool uncle. Right on. I'm trying to... That's, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, dad here, uncle there. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the move. <laughs> The hosey was real. It was. It was heavy. Did y'all see that eyebrow that Russ gave? That that little, you know, she got there. She was, you know, with that smolder and whatnot. And then she was like, she was like, oh, you want it? <laughs> oh, you want it? <laughs> that was your girl in the recent episode, bro. Hey. <laughs> uh, it was so funny. Made you dislike her character? No, I loved her in that, man. Look, 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 I'm out here. Something is in the focus. Find me and add to the bonus. Fave scene? Let's see. Definitely, uh, definitely the, the X-Men-esque Michaelson squad scene. Because just seeing, like, come on, man. See a little Reznor? <laughs> Calling the chopper in. <laughs> Man, this song's name is No Stalin by Shea Universe. You really like the genie? Yeah, she was beautiful too, wasn't she? She was gorgeous. Yeah. Have a good one, love. I'll hit you later. Right on, peace. Thanks for stopping through. Will you and Lizzie ever get together? Gotta. Gotta keep, you know, keep watching, man. Cry to an, yeah. Yeah, that was rough. Looking cute, my nigga, with them braids, my nigga. <laughs> right on, cuz. Right on, cuz. <laughs> Any other projects in the works? Yes. Um, and and you'll, you'll see him soon enough. What did you guys use to make the unicorn? Did you have to use a real horse? Yeah, actually. We just had, like, special... Special effects on the, on a real horse. So yeah. Will we ever find out how MG turned into a vampire? Ooh. Yeah, keep keep tuned in. Will you be in the next episode? I yeah. Yeah, I will be in there. I love MG's character, right on. Right on, right on. Right here, right here, right here. Way back. Hold on. Oh, definitely. Uh, would MG be a part of the Michaelson X Men game? Yeah. I'd be singing the words if I knew them, and I should know them right now, but I don't. Oh. Oh, I have a question. What's your question? Uh, Priyanamashra. Love the new hair though, right on. Where'd you get my hat from? Uh, it was like a cast gift. Needed some advice. He gave me his shoulder. It's very nice. You're the best. No, you are. No, I'm, I'm dead dancing with you. Hey. 
My friend became the love of my life. You are a friend, love of my life. I can't defend love of my life without you, baby. Feels like I sampled you, love. Oh, yeah. To bet this shit did it clear. <laughs> Don't stop. Uh, where is Kaylee? Kaylee, uh, she's on. She's on out of here. I just drew a picture of you right before you went live. Oh, you did, bro. Post that and uh, tag my name on it. Hey, okay. To everybody that like wants to draw, like draw me like different art. Uh, got something they want me to see? Just at my name, and then if you if you really want me to see it, post it. At my name, and then hashtag constant ascension on it. And nine times out of ten, I'm gonna see it. Nine times out of ten. Erica Badu, 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 Badu. <laughs> Love of my life, you are my friend. Hi, Dad. I'm here. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Quincy, I know it's so good. Right on. Yeah, okay, so like these braids, uh, I got them, I got them together, um, just cause I'm getting ready to, you know, take a really nice break, um, go back to my hometown for a little bit, uh, go to Hawaii, uh, drive around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just wanted to be able to just like get up and go and want to wear braids. But my hair is so curly. The braids themselves like are curling. The braids themselves. Hold on, let me show you. Okay. So right now I have my head better. Okay. So if you look like this right here. My curl pattern is finding a way through the entire braid. <laughs> oh, I remind y'all of Marcel. <laughs> What's that? Are you mixed with anything? Uh, not a huge 50-50 thing, but further down the line, I got like some Samoan, Polynesian, yeah. Where did the... Oh, I'm not sure what you mean. Wanna be my Valentine? Oh, shoot. I guess that's coming up, huh? <laughs> Did getting braids hurt? No. The next episode of Legacies will be Josie's Spotlight. Yeah. No, it's gonna be really nice. Joe's got a, got a really nice... Uh... Can you please play Window Seat by Erica Badu? Yes. <laughs> I'm not I don't I don't remember I don't remember window seat. Let's see. <laughs> and it don't stop cuz it can't quit and it can't wait. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I remember it now. Yeah. Um, will Marcel be coming back on Legacies? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not the one. Do you listen to rap? And how do you listen to... Yeah, I, I listen to rap. Thank you. I love y'all too. Uh... Keep, keep these little song suggestions coming. I like this. Just listening to music with y'all. Uh, oh, okay. Tips. Wear a do-rag to sleep. And throughout the day, your braids will stay straight and valid. Okay, for sure. Okay, here's the thing. I think it's because I got, like, my hair wet in the shower. So... Oh, okay, that last song was called Ode to Hip Hop by Erica Badu. Uh, yeah, Erica Badu uh, in Common was on there. This song is Window Seat, Erica Badu. Um, someone just suggested this song. 
um, will the history of MG be revealed? I know that that's something that uh, that they wanted to uh, go through in the writers room. So just keep watching them. Sure, we'll hit it. <laughs> um, Hosey or Posey? Don't fit those against each other like that. Y'all know. Hold on. First of all, y'all know how deep I take these questions. Y'all know how how into it I get. Why would y'all do that? Can you play Talk by Khalid? Sure. I've been, I've been telling myself to listen to more Khalid. Hey, put me on to some new music, y'all. I'm with it. Oh, I. I don't think I've heard this before. Quincyism, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's gonna be too many of them talking about all that. You should play the song that you sang at the end of 109. <laughs> Quincy is me listening to Soul Space, A. <laughs> I'm dancing with you, right on. You need to dance more because you broke down uh, moves on that episode of like. Thanks. My hoodie is dope. I'm happy you decided to talk about it. Okay, so this hoodie. Uh, this IO right here was made by my little bro, Ian Owsley, um, and he makes gear. Um, so I'll be post. Oh, snap, and I still gotta uh, post Parsi too. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put Ian's, uh, I'll put Ian's ad up on my story, and then I'll put Parsi up um, on my story, because I wanted to show you guys that song. Or you know what? Why don't I play Parsi's song for y'all now? Yeah. Alright, let's see. And this is actually um, This is actually Arya's brother Who made this song And it's so dope Just take a second And let it just Five out to this. You know what I'm saying? This is not hurting me to be here watching this right now. You gotta get yours. You know what I mean? So if you need to get your homework together, 
Go get your homework together. Because I can save this. And then you can come back and watch it later. And then we can, you know, then we can, we can talk about it and all that stuff. And it'll be a good time. But handle your work. You know what I mean? Okay. This song is called To Ali, Blake, and Elise. And these are, uh, his name is Parsa. And this is, this is Ari's brother. And he's, he's dope. Yes, priorities. You feel me? You got to Because here's the thing. If we all get the bag, then we can meet up at the top. You feel me? So, yeah. But you never save them, though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. I, I can't. I can't. Uh, I'll save this one. How about that? <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to put the song back on because I like this song. Forget to save it. My thoughts on the episode? I think watching this episode gives us kind of like gives uh, gives gives Lizzie a chance to come into her own humanity in a, in a sense. You know what I mean? Just kind of experiencing all those things we it it almost lets us know that lizzie has the capability to to come into that into her heart you know what i mean to to come into that love that understanding in her heart um but it also kind of lets us know as the audience like different um oh look (laughs) who came on (laughs) um (laughs) but um who's i saying uh lets us know Kind of like the what ifs, because coming nobody, into this new nobody, show, nobody, um, coming into this new show, like everybody coming from originals was like, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that, you know what I mean? And like we can't, it's 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 tough to kind of like entertain all of those different thoughts and stuff. So this was the, the coolest episode to do. It, you know? This is the best song that plays so far, right on. <laughs> right on Soul's face I'm happy y'all still with it Yo, we're coming close to 100,000 streams on Spotify Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna have to do something Yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something We're gonna celebrate Somehow Changing colors like a moon ray I lay up with her a few days Featuring my, my bro Darren Darren Blaine Wilkins Oh, snap So I haven't told you guys about Violent uh, or Violet. Should I play a song for y'all? This is um. So this is my bro Darren's uh my bro Darren's music, and he's cool. Yeah, she heavenly, don't belong here Sight to see as I come near Come with me to cloud nine I know you ain't got much time before God realized I'm a sneaky me But baby's still getting high So high, euphoria Sparks when we touch, damn they lethal Meet your maker, get your clothes on Meet your maker, get your clothes on The future favorite, you took the sun jobs And it's shining, juicy took us Contradiction, you my starburst and my sun kiss Can I have one? This is sweetness, I know you need it Or where you're going, you my princess Like your 12, girl, you left me by myself, got me searching the whole world with this slipper. I don't care, I'ma find ya, I'ma wife ya. You my Jane, I am Tarzan, be my dame. No distressing to your rescue, beating up my chest like ah. What's the name of the song? I don't want nobody. Ah. Your song is called You, and it's on my album, Link in the Bio. Baby. I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody, but. I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody, but I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody, but you I love your vibe, such an amazing person I appreciate your love I wish your music was on YouTube It is, search it A, constant ascension Hashtag it <laughs> Okay, okay Um, I'm gonna find some of Darren's music 
let's see. Darren. Blaine. Wilkins. Uh oh, here it is. Uh uh. Okay, dang, what should I play for y'all? Alright, y'all y'all trying to vibe? Alright, this is this is Darren's album. Um it's a it's kind of like a, a play with, with the word. So it's V I O L E and then N in parentheses and then T. So it's violet, but it's also violent. And this song is a nice vibe, but it's my favorite my favorite song on the album. Now Darren's vibe is kinda like a hold your hand on my chest. <laughs> Deep into our ocean that we share. He's so cold, oh my God. Kiss me, girl, I'm crying out. This dream, what reminds us how? This song is called Fur Blanket. On Darren's album. So, okay, remind me at the end of the at the end of the uh, live. Remind me everything um, that I that I said I was gonna I was gonna post. Parsi's song, Ian's clothes, Darren's album. Feel me slower, teach me every motion Deep into our ocean that we share Take me on a walk into your mind I'll find reasons to leave everything behind I'm in the woods with you tonight. In the woods with you tonight. My blanket, yes. Creep on over, meet me in this sofa. Blanket, we ain't sober, but who cares? Oh, shit. Y'all, this dude, man, like, I get close to crying when I listen to his music, y'all. He's, he's dope. Oh, you going to sleep, babe? Good night. <laughs> um, yeah, I should make a playlist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I should, I should. Um, yeah, Darren actually has two projects out. My personal favorite is definitely Violet, um, cause Violet is so him. You know, his uh, his first album uh, was called Love Bomb, and it was also really good. But I think Violet, I think I like Violet just because it's a more um, accurate representation of where we are at now. Um, 
me and Darren, um, or I guess Darren, but me being able to relate to him as far as where I'm at in life right now, you know what I mean? Um, and just being his friend and seeing like the different places he made each song from, it's just, it's cold, you know? Um, do I have a Spotify playlist? No, I don't. Uh, but I can just, I can just throw the, throw the songs up, um, on my, on my story. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> am I on, on his album? Not this one. Not, not this one. But, uh, who's the artist? That was Darren Blaine Wilkins. Uh, he helped. If you look up the, the single version of I Know, he's, he's on there. Um, so, yeah. I hope as an actor one day I can work with you. That's the goal. Hey, I'm with it. If we all making money, we'll, we'll meet at the top. <laughs> hello, hello. Tamara. Hi, Leon. I love you, too. Um, yeah, no, the hoodie was made by uh, by my boy Ian. Bro, I mean, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but, like, I literally only hang with the best, like, the best of the best. <laughs> like, <laughs> where'd the name Soul Fro come from? That's a cool question. Um, Soul Fro came when I was in high school. There's a uh, this really cool. Uh, there's this really cool upperclassman. I I went to a school that took seventh graders to uh, seventh graders up to seniors, and. There was this uh, upperclassman, I believe his name was Muta, um, and he was like a figure at our high school. And every time he saw me, he'd be like, um, what's up, Frodo? Because he'd always be talking about, look, it's curling, like, in the air, bro. <laughs> um, but he, he'd always be like, what's up, Frodo? And he, like, kept making up these different names. And, uh, and I think he... He must have said something that really resembled Soul Fro. And it was cool because, like, the way he, he did it, like, everybody was, like, Mutah was just the cool, like, the coolest dude at school. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, for him to, like, make me a nickname and, like, no one knows me at the school, it was like, oh, shit, like, that's cool. Um, and uh, and I think just somehow off of that, it got, like, it just spun off, you know, the, the Soul Fro came up. And throughout, um, <laughs> well, yeah, someone says soul music plus Afro equals soul Afro. Well, it's like as time went on, um, I had started beatboxing in high school and stuff and realized I was really into like soul vibes and, and music. And, and then from there, going on my own journey, um, discovering my soul and whatnot, I realized that it was so easy to forget all of the personal growth you could make as a as an individual when you get caught up um, in different things going on, uh, different ways to be, uh, different ways that you're stimulated at school and social events, different types of peer pressure, different types of norms to adhere to. And um, when I think about you know my soul, it's my will, you know my my ability to choose, you know it's it's me, um, and I would forget to be myself, you know, and, and forget that me isn't just some esoteric will, but, but me is here right now. And one of the things that I was using to help, you know, establish my, my own individuality was, you know, my hair. And so soul fro is not necessarily meaning, you know, Quincy has to have an afro forever. Soul fro is acknowledging the moment that I said that I will be who I am, my will, regardless of where I'm at. And when I see that name, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that decision that I made. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, even if I even if I cut my hair, I'll still be so fro because it's not about, you know, the instance, it's about the decision that was made at that time, you know. So yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all can't be asking me these, these, 
you know, these questions all the time like that, because I, you know, I, I go deep for no reason. <laughs> Um, which episode of Legacies do you think stunned you the most? Man, y'all guys, look. It's harder for me to talk to y'all because I know what's coming up. And y'all don't, y'all really don't understand. Like how much more there is, there is to happen. Um... And it's and I can't even flirt around with it right now. Like I'm gonna have to take a class. Like, all right, Julie. Like, what can I say? What can I not say? Because it's all crazy. <laughs> hey, Summer. Congrats on season two. Thanks. Hey, who? Um, are there people here that dance with me <laughs> when I went live that one time? <laughs> Stop now. I'm scared. What you scared for? <laughs> Quincy is too damn late to be live. Look, I had to give him a, a forgetful foul Saturday, B. Um, I think it's really important for kids in high school uh, to know that because it is hard to know what you stand for, especially with adults trying to dictate it. Definitely, man. Um, yeah, no, it, it's, you know, that, that was one of the biggest things I struggled with, which is why SoulPro stuck with me so much because it's like, I finally, hey, yo, Jerry, you dance with me? Right on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I, that was my, that was my biggest problem in high school, you know, actually creating a will for myself to be an individual person. So when it came to the point of, uh, <laughs> Sophia, you dance with me right on. Uh, so to get to, to getting to that point of having that identity, having that confidence, you know, it was instrumental for me to have that before I could even come out to LA to, to go after acting, you know what I mean? So in finding, you know, and, and finding your thing, you know, there's, there's certain, you know, marks to hit to make sure you're in a, in a pure place, right? Because, you know, being a child, we're, we're learning things all the time. And oftentimes we can get caught up and then make a decision out of a caught up feeling. But this is how you can keep yourself in check. One, you know, respect your, your you know, the, the people you trust to be your elders, you know, because, they have uh <laughs> they have wisdom that we have yet to experience but a surefire way to make sure you're cool for you is to make sure that you are in respect and support um and then to break down respect a little bit more respect is composed of understanding and then honoring what you understand. If you can respect and support yourself in going after whatever you're going after, solid. While you're going after that, you're in a good place if even the people you come into are being respected and supported. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I won't go too far down that but I've always realized like whenever I had to ask myself like okay is this right you know I would go okay well I want this so I understand that I want that I'm honoring that I want this so I'm going to support me wanting this by giving efforts to, to getting this but then every once in a while it's like wait but me getting this like this is disrespecting someone else okay well maybe I have to go about a different way in doing this so that I don't disrespect someone else you know what I mean and going about that isn't necessarily being docile because if you think about it if it's in the name of competition then that's still respect because competition is all right we both know that one of us is going to lose and one of us is going to win I'm respecting your will and I'm giving you all of my efforts to beat you you know what I mean um but in disrespecting someone you know if you bend uh someone's you know, uh, if you bend someone's will, you know, uh, if you affect them without understanding them, uh, that's that's where you mess up, you know. And the thing is, you reap what you sow. And then that's when the energy comes right back to you, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, y'all got, <laughs> got me down a hole. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. You should always go live at this time. I try I try to hit around like seven is what I try to do. 
we need a TED talk from you. Oh, I'd love to. Um, you're so talented. Do you have any advice for getting into acting? Um, make sure you're in love with acting. Uh, make sure it's not you're not wanting any off part of 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 it. You know, just the you know fame, just the the money. Because if you want fame and money, you'll mess around and get it. Uh, but then you'll look at how you got it, and you may not be happy with where things turned out. So just be careful. Use use your discernment. Stay in that respect and support. Uh, yeah. I have church in the morning. Girl, you better go to sleep. Go to church. <laughs> when is the next episode air? Thursday. It's coming up. Do I love the twins? Of course I do. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, <laughs> How did you feel when you found out you were going to be a rapper? I understand what you mean by the question. Um, I was excited uh, playing a, playing a character like MG as as pure as he is, and dealing with that, you know that 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 demon on his shoulder like that. I mean, it's it's a it's a great place of of internal conflict that I feel like teens really deal with in in real life now. You know. Um, because we're coming into the point where now, you know, we are capable of 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 doing grand things, and they could be grand things for the right reasons or the wrong reasons. And it's now getting to the point where we have to have that discernment for ourselves to, you know, tell, you know. And so it's like kind of embodying that yearning, that 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 thirst for it with that with that ripper, you know, mode. Man, I mean, it's it's nice to play with. So yeah, are you a part of the stunt team? You already know, man. I do all my all my stunts. Like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we birthday twins. What's up, Virgo? What does constant ascension mean? Constant ascension is consistently giving efforts to your goal that's it consistently giving efforts to your goal constant ascension Q is MG doing something in the talent show episode yeah <laughs> yes uh, Promote your music right now. Everybody, go see. Go check out Sal's page. <laughs> um, I got some I got some stuff coming out for you guys, too. I'm also working on some stuff. There was one big thing that I was working on, and you'll see why I've been a little quiet here lately um, when we post that, because it's going to be insane, you know? I feel like in our group, like... Uh, I'm, and I'm calling us, like, we're, like, the constant ascension crew. Noah doesn't necessarily accept, like, being in a conglomerate with me and Darren, but he is, you know what I mean? But it's me, it's Darren Blaine Wilkins, it's Noah Gary, uh, and, like, I, I was saying, like, Darren is, like, he's so musically talented, man. Um, how he puts together sound, how he can listen for different things and, and put together harmonies, and his voice is amazing. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so it's like it's it's kind of cool because like watching him, he put together like this album. And don't get me wrong, I love music, and I'm I'm definitely into music, um, but I love telling story. Um, and so this uh, this project I put together is a is a a story of sorts that I put together. What was that noise? It was my speaker turning off because I haven't been playing anything. <laughs> uh, can I join your live, please? I'll be a part of the two-time. <laughs> when, when I go up and I, and I start doing live stuff, I'll look out for you. Uh, don't forget to post the hoodies and album on your story. Can you, thank you. Thank you. Been learning choreo for you. Hopefully it'll do the song justice. Much love for you and your vibe. Oh my gosh. Yes. Please post that. 
Uh, love you, Quincy, but it's 12.30 over here. Past my bedtime. Save your life. I will. Singer, dancer, actor, preacher, and hubby. <laughs> right on, love. <laughs> How's your day, then? Then. Or, oh. How do you feel being in your apartment all alone, Demas? Kaylee already. All right, so two questions in one. Um, I think it's been cool just having the house to myself. Uh, I haven't really done anything. I need to finish packing because I'm getting ready to leave myself uh, here in a second. Um, so, yeah, I haven't, I haven't really done anything. I've just been resting, you know. I'm done shooting, so um, I'm just really taking a break. And that's that's what I will be doing um, for a little bit. So, yeah. Can you play Roll Some More by Lucky Day? All right. Y'all better not be. I'm going to tell y'all if one of these songs is whack. What what'd you say? Roll Some More? Roll Some More. Lucky Day. Hmm. It uh, it didn't come up here. Let me see. Did you spell it right? Is it? It does it use some sort of um abbreviations at all? Oh, roll some mo. It's not more. It's M O. <laughs> all right. Let's see. <laughs> Imagine being excited to show Quincy some music and he tells you it's trash. That's the risk you take, <laughs> you know. We don't know what we made of. Something we were afraid of might improve. Stay up all night, just lay up. Lose half, but it's past enough to make moves. We are all of you. That's cool. Got me, bro. The, the copyright got me. <laughs> okay, y'all can't send me to mainstream music, B. <laughs> they said, gotcha. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Next song. <laughs> Kisses from Israel. Thank you, thank you. Sue me by Sabrina Carpenter. Nah, she too big, B. I'ma get I'ma get copper fit and copy they gon' they gon' get me. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened. What do you do? Are you gonna send the feds? Think I might